All right, guys, this book is trash. <laughs> this is Ambassadors, issue number six. I really hate this book. I read the series. Uh, I cannot believe that Mark Millard uh, uh, a while ago said on social media that he didn't like what Marvel and DC was doing with their IPs and, you know, talking about the, the direction that they are going. But he doing that exactly in this book. This is actually a social justice warrior's wet dream, a leftist wet dream. Everything um, what Marvel and DC is pushing is collected in this book. I'm going to show you why. Um, I'm going to skip all this crap. So there is a, a recap about this woman breaking, I don't know, uh, collaborating with uh, um, Chun He. And she talks. She talked about Jing Sung, her husband, ruined her, and um, and then that was years ago, five years ago, and now she is. I don't know, has some kind of a superhero imperium, right? And also that she's won some kind of a prize, and um, when she was, I don't know, when she was young, uh, six years old, so more like a, what happened in the past that he. Uh, I don't know, was getting close to, to the girl because he thought, probably thought that he could just leech off or piggyback off her intellect or wealth. So they are marrying him, but she was blind to see it. And then he ran off with this elderly, elderly, older I don't know, women with money. And then, I don't know, the older woman just fell off a skyscraper and then he inherited all of the money. Um, all right, but then she is talking about her brains and how smart she is. Um, all right, more crap here. And then there is some kind of an uh, emergency going on about, I don't know, uh, stopping a nuclear accident, but there's some kind of a tidal wave coming. The tidal wave could cause an accident in Mexico. That's, that's calling it's Captain Mexico or General Mexico or Mexico man. I don't know. They have all these flags and that's their name. Um, that's why we need you giant sized. If this place is flooded, the cooling rods get disabled. We get another Fukushima on our hands. So these are duplicating their, his powers, right? And they think that these two boats could stop a tidal wave, which is the biggest BS that I've ever heard. You know, building up some kind of a barrier. All right. Um, and of course, these guys can only f download free powers at a time from some kind of a power bank. And then um, Captain Checkbox comes in here and uh, she can uh, download the temperature control to see if she can freeze the wave and maybe to turn the water droplets into steam. Yeah, right. Um, and she's also bragging that she's buying a brand new car. I mean, uh, and also this uh, uh, asshole. Yeah, uh, YouTube doesn't like me, me saying that. But because of uh, jets, because of unlimited money. And, and realize that these guys are supposedly the good guys, you know, selfish, uh, altruistic, uh, the typical good guys. But then, I don't know, this, this writing reminds me that all people are basically assholes, right? As long as there's money involved, and don't get me wrong, I love capitalism, but, um, you know, they're supposedly the good guys, right? But then, oh, well, I, I got a I got a unlimited funding card, right? So I could buy me a, a Ferrari Testarossa. Well, it's not a Testarossa. Is this a Diablo? I don't know. Looks like it. Um, anyway, so uh, Kid Flash here says uh, downloading speed. So he uh, brings them, I don't know, um, out of this, this particular place to safety. But then... I can't lift them. They are too heavy. Never thought, uh, actually thought of this, but they still twice my size. I mean, are you kidding me? Aren't you trained for this? I mean, you get these powers. I assume that if you're downloading, I don't know, hundreds plus powers, then you try to at least train with the hundred plus powers that you get, you know, for instances like this. Oh my God. Anyway, so... Um, uh, so this then, I don't know, the woman, uh, it's, it's his mother, says, um, hey, why don't you just teleport him? But it's too late. The tidal wave is here. And they're doing this power up thing like, Aah! and then what they're doing is they're stopping the tidal wave. 
So the tidal wave normally, a real tidal wave, just break the ship like they were tissue paper, right? Uh, so they are using this. Um, so they all, all, all go in like, and, uh, and, um, and then the home station says, um, hey, uh, we, we didn't know what's going on over there. So how are you doing? So um, we did it. The wave was just dispersed. Everything's okay. Wait a minute. You, you just did it? How? Why don't we just see what happened? Oh my God, it's so bad. Anyway, but then this is happening uh, on the control room elsewhere. They got an oil tanker. I'm not sure how you say it. Oil platform dumped into one. Control is lost. People are getting disintegrated. And oh no, the bad guys are here. So this is the husband of, um, what's her name? Chi Yong, Ying Sung. Hello, wife. Are you ready to be fucked over again? Because I'm really excited about it. Oh, my God. Um, all right. So he explains his reason. He wants to build an international rescue service. I want billions for every rich guy I upgraded. We're uh, kind of the world's most exclusive club. and We're not really keen on competition. All right. So um, Captain Brazil here. Is uh, try to fight back. Fuck you, you stupid rate, third rate powers, Brazil. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, the art is not that bad. I actually like the art, but you know, the writing is horrendous. Um, so it seems that having trouble accessing your base at the South Pole, that's because we dropped an oil rig on them. You stuck with the abilities you downloaded already, and I believe that means a maximum of three. So these guys have the upper hand, right? Uh, wait, you created a tidal wave just to get us all together. Behold the genius. How did you find the bank? It's hidden under a hologram. Actually, it was harder than I expected. I tried to buy off each of your ambassadors, but it looks like you chose very wisely. Your assistant, on the other hand. So, oh no, it's the crippled girl that is, you know, not happy that she shared all her power and wealth with all these nobodies from other countries and not her. Because he's disabled. Oksana says polio since she was four years old. How could you choose strangers over a friend? Jing Sun said he made me faster than a racing car. Can you believe that? Heat vision, super breath. I'll even be able to shrink. But then, oh no, it's a switcheroo. Um, he's not giving you anything, you idiot. He's using you like he's using everyone. Of course, she doesn't believe that. That's not fair. I'm more than happy to help her shrink. Bryn, would you make Petro Miss Petroy really, really small, like the size of a comma? He doesn't want to do it when he's blackmailing him, and then uh, she's dead because she's shrinking him into nothingness. Oh, no, who didn't see that coming, that the evil guy portrayed the person that, you know, portrayed the other person. All right. Um, Look at you, frozen in the air. That's one of my 58 superpowers. You know, freezing people where they stand. Here's another. Um, anyway, so these guys are uh, being belittled. Uh, because um, he got all the, the, the crooks, the, the people that, you know, have the experience. So there's a fight. And the fight looks okay. It looks nice. You know, typical superhero fight. And all right. But then... Um, they have the numbers. My boys are killers and been doing this for years. Um, you're out of your mind. You go to jail when people see what you are doing here. But it seems that they are not going to see it because all these people have control over newspapers, television stations, social media platforms, right? Um, anyway. Um, but then when they try to kill him, they are getting attacked by another. So this is Captain... And I know, I know it's not Cap, but it's Scotland, you know, like, but I'm saying it's Cap in Scotland. And he has some certain powers, you know, kills a bunch of them. But, uh, you know, the bad guy has uh, stronger than him. And uh, nobody gets to blindside me twice. This isn't a Marvel movie. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you don't get to win just because you're nice. There's 80 of, uh, there's eight of you and 40 of us. That means we're going to crucify you. Wait, wait a second. I know him. This is from this is all from from Bonzo Project. The boy Henry Trojet spliced with human DNA, superhuman DNA. Do you know I've been looking for you, man? There's secrets in you I haven't 
never figured it out. So what is the Bozo, Bonzo project? Who are the funders? Who is the, the guy that did the splicing? Who are the scientists? Who was the big guy in charge? Don't know. And we never get explained who, right? But it seems that this guy is a big deal. But actually, he's now being pushed aside because his story arc is now over. But there's a, a lot of words in here that describes that this guy is really, really important and that he's going to save us. Probably, maybe, right? Because he has special DNA. Nah, forget all that. Though. This guy's done. Anyway. Um, and don't try to duplicate my powers, Miss Hotel Receptionist. I can feel you probing around here, but you only can uh, copy one at a time. I'm the smartest man alive, and I don't take chances. I never start a fight unless I know I'm going to win. More bragging. Uh, more, but not only from the, the villain side, but also from the good guy side. Because these people have now aneurysms. I've duplicated the power you can't on standby for any clients who got a little shitty with you. Wait a minute. So you're telling me this is a, a MacGuffin plot armor? And you can access their powers, these, these, not his powers, but everyone else. Really? Really? Um, so he's on her own, but then <laughs> you don't think I give a shit. All the little rich boys were just to help me fund my work. I spent years building this instructable body. Nothing can stop me now. Want to put that to the test? Oh, tune here. Wasn't prison bad enough? I do the hurting, you do the crying. That's the way it always worked, and I'm only going to make you look like a fool again. I think you forget who's the boss in this relationship. So, yeah, misogyny guys, right? So, this guy is supposedly the big bad guy, right? He's indestructible, so I find, oh, man, it's going to be a fight, right? It's going to be, yeah, some cool action. Nope, he's dead. This looks cool. I must admit, this looks cool. Uh, but, you know, instead of having a big badass villain versus good guy fight, nope, it's over. The good guy's won. He's dead. That's it. That's it. Um, and the reason she did that, I think you forgot who won the science prize. What? What do you mean with that? So she wants to just knock him out. Because he had an instructable body, but then she had too much power. Because he's really smart. Guys, get it? So it means if you're smart, you don't need reason or rhyme or strategy. No, you just need to be smart and everything is being solved. No grandeur battle, no almost losing, but then winning, you know, overcoming the odds. No, 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 no. Why would you do that if you just punch this? creep out, right, because he's a creep and a bragger and a misogynist, probably a racist too, and hates women. Now, why am I saying all this? Well, <laughs> it's not over, right? So everybody is, is winning, right? Everybody's fun. And then there's some, I don't know, fundraising party here. And uh, so Captain Scotland is now turning to Captain Britain and, um, and also uh, people speaking to the press, Right, and this is going on way too long, but you know, we are need to do the checkboxing, right? Because this is the new ambassador for New Zealand and is our first wheelchair user. Because you have to say it, because it's the first wheelchair user. I mean, yeah, there's no other people in the world that uses wheelchair because she's the first, guys. Don't you get it? She's the first. And that has to be addressed, that she is the first wheelchair user and an ambassador. I'm just hammering it over and over, right? And also, climate change and protesting, right? So then uh, the son's dad wants to talk uh, with dad, right? Because he's, you know, angry at him. And um, he says, I know I want to know how much we love you, how proud we are, what you've been doing here. Dave, listen, come here. I'm not actually gay, mate. It's all a fucking scam. I was 72 and could barely walk. Now I feel great and even have superpowers. I told these, these lefty arseholes what they wanted to hear. And that made me... This is probably the best line in the whole comic. I laughed out loud. Because he says, what? How dare you deceive us? <laughs> but then we go back to this whole SJW thing. 
So more patting on the back, right? More, uh, more congratulating themselves. And uh, so more um, talking about diversity and representation, right? Because there's other programs getting started up in other countries. Yeah, more, more posing. Do you think we need a token American? This, this, this crap. This, this is crap. I mean, this is probably the worst Mark Millar book I have ever read. I need to uh, to uh, read Superior. I have Superior, um, but I haven't read the rest. I haven't. I mean, I'm curious to Space Bandits. I heard it's good, but you know, I always for, heard that the Ambassadors was good, and it's not. So I'm not a big fan of Mark Millar's. Uh, you know, work and and maybe as I think he's overrated. That's it. I mean, he's probably he's, he's a good guy. I've seen interviews with this guy. I think he's not the he has the heart in the right place. But uh, yeah, I mean, how can you talk about Marvel and DC about their you know what they are doing with all these representation SJW social social issues when you're doing the exact same thing. Oh my god. So I'm stopping here. I'm glad this is over. I really want to put this in the in the trash, uh, but I'm going to sell it for those who are gullible enough to uh, buy this. Uh, guys, don't buy this. Do not. It's not recommended. Don't do it. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this. See you next time. Bye-bye.